Carmen. Today, we're going to read a story and learn about opposites. Do you know what opposites are? It's kind of hard to explain, but the way that I think of it is that you take something away or you add something to it. So if we have a lot of light, if we turned a light on and I took that light away, what would the opposite of light be if I take it away? The opposite of light is dark. So when I turn on the light switch, it's light. And when I turn it off, it's dark, right? What about if I had a glass and I filled it up with a bunch of milk? It's filled all the way to the top, right? My glass is full. What's the opposite of full? Do you know? Now let's think if I take it away. So my glass is filled with milk. I'm gonna take that milk away and I'm gonna drink it. So if I drink it all up, what is my glass now? It's empty. So the opposite of full is empty, right? Now, what if I had something really, really soft? Really, really soft. And I took all of that softness away. What do you think it would be? What's the opposite of soft? It would be hard. There's no softness at all. It's hard. So the opposite of soft is hard, right? So today, we're going to read a story that has opposites in it. And we're going to try to find some opposites in the picture at the end. Do you think we could do that? I think we can too. So let's do our finger play and get ready for our story. Are you ready? Okay, ready? Hands up high, hands down low, hands behind your back. Now, where do they go? Out comes one, out comes two. Clap hands, fold hands. Now we're through. Let's begin. Sesame Street's Bert and Ernie's First Book of Opposites. Hello! Today, Bert and Ernie are learning about opposites. Do you know the opposite of hello? That's right! The opposite of hello is goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Shh! When Bert goes to the library, he must be very quiet. Do you know the opposite of quiet? Yes! The opposite of quiet is loud! When Ernie plays the drums, he's very loud. Quiet, loud. Oh no, it's starting to rain. But Bert has an umbrella to stay dry. Do you know the opposite of dry? You're right. The opposite of dry is wet. When it rains, Ernie loves to splash and play. He gets very wet. Dry, wet. Bert walks slowly down the street. Do you know the opposite of slow? You've got it. The opposite of slow is fast. Ernie likes to run. He can run very fast. Slow, fast. Oh, what a busy day. Do you know the opposite of day? Good job. The opposite of day is night. Day, night. Ernie and Bert are ready for bed. Good night. Now it's your turn. How many opposites can you find in Bert and Ernie's bedroom? Did you find some opposites? 
Ernie's bed has an E for Ernie. And Bert has a B on his bed for Bert. So if we look at Ernie's side, the one with the E, we see a big mess. If we look on Bert's side, the one with the B, what does his side look like? It's neat. Ernie's side is messy and Bert's is neat. The opposite of messy is neat. Now let's look at Ernie's side. Everything on Ernie's side is open. His drawers, his window, and his closet. Now look at Bert's side. What are his drawers and closet? Are they open? No, they're closed. The opposite of open is closed. Now let's look at Ernie. If we look at his eyes, they're open, which means he's awake. If we look at Bert, his eyes are closed, which means he's asleep. So the opposite of awake is asleep. Now let's look at their feet. Ernie's feet are out of the blanket and Bert's are in the blanket. So the opposite of out is in. Well, it looks like our book is done. We started at the beginning and now we're at the end. The opposite of beginning is end. The end. Hey guys, did you like that story? Did you learn a little bit about opposites? I hope that helped a little bit. And I bet you're wondering why I'm at the beach, right? Is my background the beach? Yeah, that's because I chose a background that is opposite of where I actually am right now. I'm at home and this is just a background. And at home, it's actually kind of cold. It's cold today. And usually when I go to the beach, it's what? It's hot. So the opposite of cold is hot, right? Hot and cold. Those are two opposites, right? Look at that tree right beside me, that palm tree. It's moving. And so's the ocean, right? The ocean's moving and the palm tree's moving. If I took all that movement away, what would the opposite of moving be? Being still, right? Yeah, so moving and still are opposites, right? You guys practice some of those at home. See if you can find some opposites in your house. What do you think? And I'll read another story to you soon, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.